Hey guys, Matt here, checking in from southeastern Minnesota, western Wisconsin, what we call God's country. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Let's get her. Good morning from Tennessee, my friends. Finally made it back down to the big bad south. We're barely dipping into it. We're just going to Jackson, Tennessee, picking up a load and going back to Alberta. So, I got everything ready to go here. Everything's working. Let's hit the road. It is cooking. Like I'm talking south cooking. I love it. You know, I really wish I could live in the South. I feel like I like I should be from here, you know? I feel most at home in the Southern United States. I don't know why. Feel right at home here with everybody. Just love it. So we stayed at the Loves. Uh, just barely into Tennessee from Missouri. So we're way on the west side of Tennessee right now. I uh, got about an hour to drive to get me to Jackson. And hopefully the load's not going to take too long to tie down. I would like to make it about six hours back towards Canada today yet. I wish I could stay down here longer, but I'm just going to have to put in some requests to send me down south more often. I mean, we when I was on dry van, I was always down here. Loved it, but... I went to Flatbed and uh, that was a good choice. I mean, there's there's more money on Flatbed. I like it better. There's more feeling of accomplishment tying down your own load and pulling it down the road. I like Flatbeds more. Uh, our routes just don't take us down here as often. So uh, maybe if I ask really nicely and use my special Trucker Josh persuasion skills, maybe I can convince the load gods to uh, help me out a little bit. Send me back down to my people. Maybe I shouldn't say that I feel most at home in the southern United States. I feel at home. I, I, I love the people down here. I love the climate down here. I love the area, the culture. I just like being down here a lot. Maybe because I, I spent so much time down here in the last decade. It sort of feels kind of familiar to me. I really like it. I mean, on our way back up to Alberta, we're going to be going right through Montana too and uh, right into Alberta. And you know, that region, I'm gonna say the same thing. You know, I feel very at home there. In one kilometer, keep to the right on, US 51 South, US 412 East Divesburg. Karen, if you keep speaking in metric, you're gonna give us away that we're Canadian. We're blending in right now, shh. In 600 meters, keep to the right on, US 51 South, US 412 East Divesburg. Really, you want me to turn here? You want me to get off the interstate? Trusting you, Karen. Oh, we're not even on the interstate? I don't know what's going on here. So, uh, yeah, like I, I go through Montana, I go through the western U US. I love visiting there too, and I love every area. Then I go through New England. I'll say the same thing about New England and Pennsylvania. I love Pennsylvania. 
all their tiny little roads there and their little towns in the hills, West Virginia too. I haven't spent a lot of time in Texas though, but I'm sure I'd like it just as much as anywhere else. I don't spend too much time in California, but I go there to visit every now and then. I like it. Continue on this road for 69 kilometers. I wouldn't move there for personal reasons, but uh, I'd probably, you know, if I had a choice, I'd probably end up somewhere out west, probably like western Montana or or Utah or something like that. Wyoming. I like the open space. Wow, it's a bumpy road. Hello. You guys know me. I like to have my my privacy, my uh, my wide open spaces, right? So I think you know, Montana, Wyoming would be a good fit for me. Love Montana, but you know it's fun coming down here to visit. I should say, but I, I love where I'm from. We got a, a good piece of paradise back home. We got a good corner to call ourselves, co to call our own there, to call home, and. You know, if I, if I lived down here, I probably would miss the seasons up there. You know, there's, such, there's like four distinct seasons. There is hot, hot, hot summer. There's comfortable fall. There's freezing cold winter. And then there's, you know, soggy spring. No, I just like it everywhere. I think I just like... Canada and the US. I just like the whole thing. I love going up to Northern Canada too, seeing the wild up there. You guys saw that just last week we were up there. I love it all. Probably why I love my job so much. This is uh, the perfect job for me. I, I just love being places, just going, experiencing different places. Coming down here to the south, it's exciting because I haven't been here in a while. Then we're going back up to Alberta. I love Alberta. You know, we'll probably go back home and relax on our porch for a while. Maybe we'll go to like, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll end up in New England again one day or Newfoundland. Really love this job. I can't see myself doing anything else. I'm so glad that I have a wife that understands my passion and supports me in it. And her dad was also a truck driver growing up, so uh, she understands it a little, a little better than some might. She, uh, she knows the lifestyle. So she knew what she was getting herself into. Got me all dressed up again. Look at this. They got me some special sleeves. They're just like here. I have to cover my arms while I'm here at the shipper and I bought these from them for $4. It was either this or wear my winter sweater because my arms have to be covered here. All these rules and regulations, I don't know. I don't know. So uh, I'm unhooked from my old trailer now I'm bobtailing just at the shipper's office here and uh, I had to get all dressed up obviously uh, so I'm gonna go around the back here pick up my trailer tie it down and I just called my uh, receiver oh which I gotta check my email here make sure I haven't gotten any emails back uh, I called them up and apparently my appointment is uh, for next Wednesday. It's Friday right now. So we got all of today, so, well half of today, whatever. All of tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Four days plus today to get there. It's only gonna take me three and a half days to get there. So we'll be there Saturday, Sunday, Monday night. And we'll be sitting there all day Tuesday. I could have almost gone home for a day, but that would have been far out of my way, several hundred kilometers out of my way, or a couple of them. Might have been worth it. I just thought of that now. We're gonna be crossing through at Coots, Alberta, and uh, we got time, so we're gonna be taking her easy on the way up there, uh, or maybe we'll just give her and reset once we get up there, then at least my hours are good to go. I've gotta be home for next weekend, though. We have a family barbecue going on at our house, so, uh, I guess I'm just gonna be twiddling my thumbs. Maybe I should call them back and ask if they can unload me on Monday. They probably don't want to because the steel that I'm delivering there has to be there at a certain time because if it's early, they have nowhere to put it. But if it's late, well then the whole project gets backed up because they're building some kind of building, right? Huh. No, oh, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll give them a call back, see if we can unload Monday. I mean, pardon me, Tuesday, because Monday's Labor Day. 
Not supposed to work on Labor Day. Well, let's go find my trailer first and then we'll figure out if we can deliver it a day early. I might have to turn on the charm, you know. Trucker Josh charm, my persuasion skills once again. I'm gonna be there Monday evening. You know, if you got nothing else to do on Tuesday, and you got room for the freight, I'm just saying I'm gonna be in the neighborhood. If you wanna unload me a day early and have less to do on the next day, we could make it happen, just saying. We could make things happen. Maybe I'll give him a call later. Let's see what I can do. I'm gonna have to do it today though because it's a long weekend. I won't be able to get a hold of them till, till Tuesday and then it'll be too late to ask for an early unload appointment. Uh, my trailer's supposed to be around here somewhere. This is my first time to this place, so I'm... Um, they told me where to go, but... Eh. Oh, they load everything inside here. Oh, that's nice. Well, they probably do that at the other places too, is not very nice, very nice. Okay, where's my trailer? Oh, it's down here. I see. I see. Down the hill we go. Down, 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 down to my trailer. Where's my trailer? I hope it's going to be an easy one to tie down. I don't feel like spending so much time in the sun today. It's hot. I won't complain if I have to, though. I'm just saying it's going to be hot. So we want trailer number, where is it, where is it? Hello, where's my trailer? I don't see it. One of these has gotta be, oh there it is. There it is right here. Oh my. All right, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, that's a messy load. That's just a bit of everything, eh? It's gonna be tough to tie some of that down the way they loaded that. Oh, what in the world? Why would you load it like that? Oh man, yeah, it's gonna be very hard. What am I gonna do with that? Here, let me hook up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There it is. We'll figure it out. We always do. Come on. We'll figure it out. Let's get. Let's get it back in there. Let's let's hook her up. Let's hook her up. Not allowed to climb on the trailers here either. If they catch me, they're gonna spank me, I think. I don't know. Come on. Oh, oh, wait for it. Oh, that's pretty high. Why is it up so high? Oh. Oh, oh, there it is. Did we lock in? Did we lock in? We locked in. Alright. Let's figure this out. All right, let's go see what's going on here. What's this all about? Show me. Okay, so we got this here. These will be easy to tie down. No, that's not a problem. Uh, one little cute little box there. That's no problem. Okay. What's this? This, this looks very bendy. Got to make sure we don't bend this stuff. But tie it down on the on the wood, not on that. On the wood. So yeah, this will be easy to tie down. That's no problem. It's this here, you see? They got that big box in the center and then you got this loose box on the side. Ah, uh, should work out. This is all very, very thin steel. Gotta be very, very careful not to bend it. This almost looks like the roofing material that I put on my roof, just about. And I know how expensive that stuff is, so I don't want to wreck this stuff. And then there's this on this side, eh? So you got like this piece here is loose on top of all of this. It's not banded to it or anything. And the straps are going to come over the top there. And it's not even going to really touch this here. So I'm going to have to figure out a way of uh, securing that. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's what we do. This is what I do. Where there's a will, there's a way. And where there's a trucker Josh, there's also a way. And we got all of that, so we'll figure it out. Well, here we go. 
We just went down the street after we tied it down to Pilot to grab a shower. That felt good. This is what we came up with. It's not going anywhere. I always like to do a little bit of overkill. The guys there were kind of laughing at me saying that I was putting way too much on, but I don't understand why. What is that? That is a demon from the pits of hell. That is the biggest fly I've ever seen in my life. I bet he bites. Wow. Yeah. There we go, guys. Let's take this up to Canada. We can take our time. We got four days to get there. Got my tarps up there. Two of them there, and I got two of them on top of that. here no no this is something else there it is okay we're back in Missouri just crossed into it uh, just on I-55 I believe this was exit 19 pilot here and grab some fuel check the load make sure everything is as it's supposed to be back there and then we're gonna continue on further down the road we still have we have a lot of time a lot of time to get there so I'm in no rush I'm just gonna relax and enjoy the trip up north oh, wow this is like a really wide fuel island here look at this Maybe this is for wide loads all right so since we have so much time to get up to Alberta, I'm gonna shut her down a little earlier tonight. It's already dark, but it's about nine o'clock. There's supposed to be a travel plaza here somewhere. Oh, I get in here. There is a Love's a little further down the road, but uh, there's supposed to be like an Exxon travel. Oh, here it is. Here's a bunch of trucks. Okay. How do I get in there? This is the entrance here. If I drive during the day, I get less bugs on my windshield too. Okay, so this is this is it, eh? Interesting. Never been here before. This was uh, exit 143 in Missouri, the I-55. Still south of St. Louis. God bless America. Look at this, look at this. I walk into the truck stop, right? I was just gonna go to the, you know, use the facilities and stuff, come back here and find something to eat. Look at this, what little truck stop I'm in here. You see that? That's a pork steak. Pulled pork and barbecue chicken, corn and a little free bun to go with it, all for like 10 bucks. God bless America. Look at these truck stops. That's amazing. I am so hungry right now. Oh, yeah. They had full rack of ribs in there. They had like half a pig just sitting right in there. 
I gotta let you guys go. I'm hungry. I gotta eat this. Thanks for tuning in today. We picked up our load and we're slowly meandering our way towards Alberta, Canada. Uh, we stopped in. Where are we? What are you? What the? Oh, what's this? YouTube starts playing. Uh, let's see. I'm just checking out the Googles. Tell me where I am, Google. Uh, is that where I am? Okay, so it's an Exxon truck stop. Azora truck stop. It's in, let me guess, Azora? No, it's in St. Genevieve, Missouri. Hey, this is St. Genevieve in Manitoba, too. I'm in St. Genevieve, Missouri. That's where we're going to spend the night tonight. Got here at about 9 o'clock, so we'll be on the road again, probably at 9 a.m. tomorrow. No big rush. I'll sleep in a little bit and get a good night's rest. Hope you guys tune in. I make a new video every day. Hit that like button. If you did like the video, hit the thumbs down button. If you hated it, if you think other people should watch it, press the share button, share it out. And if you really like it and you want more, hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Diesel. Tell them to hit the subscribe button. He's shy.